So I wanted to just take a moment and talk about education in the media because, because it's a hot topic. There are a lot of opinions about there about what we should be doing or shouldn't be doing in educational systems and, you know, all of that. Um, and Ken Robinson, who has one of the most famous TED Talks ever, one of the ten most watched, he said, education goes deep with people, like religion or money. People are very attached to their opinions about the way we should or should not do things. Um, in the same talk, he said, um, the school systems today are educating students out of creativity. And in that movie that I mentioned to you earlier, that Beyond Measure movie, a teacher in that movie said, education has become all about filling in a bubble and not unlocking human potential. And I have to say, I, I told you, our school is based on academic rigor and our, our kids fill in a lot of bubbles. They take a lot of tests. But I hope that I've also shown you that we give them this opportunity to uh, direct their own learning and do what they want to learn more about um, at the end in their senior year. So just to kind of wrap up their stories, Rachel um, is at Baird Honors College and her major is philosophy, philosophy, morality, politics, and law. And I was like, man, they crafted that major for you. Um, <laughs> It's amazing, and she hopes to be a Supreme Court Justice someday. Um, Carissa is actually at Stanford um, starting her sophomore year, and she went there not even realizing that some of the people, the original scientists that worked on that LIGO instrument are at Stanford. And so when she got there, she was like, hey, I did this senior project. Could I volunteer? And they were like, sure. So she volunteered in their lab for a semester, and when I saw her at Christmas, she said, they just hired me for an internship in their lab, and she is actually not even a physics major. So there it is. And Natalia is uh, at the University of Pennsylvania as a mechanical engineering major, so she went the STEM way. Art is uh, still a beloved hobby of hers. She actually works on a team that builds electric race cars to compete against other collegiate teams in the country, and they won first in the nation last year. She was really excited to tell me that, and she thanked me for that senior year robotics experience, and that pretty much made my year. That was awesome. Um, but they're just three examples of so many. As our school grows, students are taking this opportunity every year um, to direct their own learning and, and contribute to their community. So thank you for hanging around, and I hope you feel inspired. <laughs>